little while ago, I did a video on uh, these 433 megahertz modules, so receiving and transmitting data. And when I did that video, I had the Raspberry Pi plugged into a power supply, and the actual uh, transmitter and receiver devices, I, I was using a, just a PP3 battery to, to power those. And I was getting and receiving signals fine with that, and it, I didn't have any issues at all. Uh, it was a very clean, clean signal. I had, hardly had any noise. But since I put the 433 megahertz modules onto this circuit board, I've been having big problems sending and receiving data. In fact, I haven't been able to do it because there's so much noise on the on the board. Now, I believed it was because I'm powering it from the same five volt power supply as the Raspberry Pi, and I think the Raspberry Pi is putting um, noise onto the uh, onto the lines. So here I've got a 433 megahertz receiver, and I'm powering it with just a battery and a five volt regulator. Uh, I've got scope over here to see the signal, and as you can see, there's no noise at all when there's no signal being transmitted. Uh, and then when the when the signal's transmitted, if I click on my uh, transmitter, the signal it shows up on the scope. So that tells me that when there's noise, when I plug this transmitter into my interface on the Raspberry Pi, then the, the no noise being generated on the on the receiver pin, which would show up on the scope, must be noise which is generated from the power supply or the GPIO pin, probably the power supply. So when I plug the uh, receiving device into uh, a Raspberry Pi, there's clearly a lot of noise which is being picked up by the oscilloscope now. So the solution I found actually to clean up the power power supply for the transmitters and receivers uh, is to use a, an additional regulator. So I've got a 5 volt regulator in this corner of the board to supply the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi seems to put plenty of noise onto that which affects uh, the, uh, the transmitter and receiver, or well, at least the receiver anyway. Uh, but I've got like a cheap little 5 volt regulator here, which is a low power version of uh, of the regulator, which is in this cor corner of this uh, board. Uh, and if I provide, if I use this to provide power to the receiver, uh, then the power from the uh, the noise from the Raspberry Pi on the on the other 5 volt regulated line doesn't interfere uh, with the um, with the receiver. And I'll, I'll show that in action. So I've made a little mod for this board. I'm going to have to update this board. Um, before I get any made, but it's an easy mod to make. So if I plug this into here, uh, and on the on the display, I'm showing the noise which is being received uh, whilst I'm being plugged into the Raspberry Pi power supply. So what I'm going to do is move these cables across to uh, this this new regulated power supply, and you'll see the noise clean up very very quickly indeed. Okay, so now I'm receiving uh, data from this new regulate regulate I've added, uh, and the noise is, is gone. And once a minute, you'll see uh, there's something in my house which transmits data once a minute. So you'll see some information come up on there once a minute. But also, I can uh, to prove this receiving, I can actually press my. Oh, there's, there's the information which comes up on in my house that's being transmitted somewhere. But I've also got a key fob, so when I press the key fob. You'll see the data, the data comes comes up as well. So it went from very noisy to very clean just by adding a, a, five, a low power five volt regulator. So it's worth doing that. 